page 476 of the book has a chart on there about the 12 steps for an ethnography uh, put out by Spradley. So I thought I would go over a few details, um, get a little more information. So you're doing an ethnography. You have to decide who is it that you're studying. Those are your informants. It is the representative person or group that is your observation that you're going to base your ethnography off of. So who are you looking at? Is it one person? Is it a group? What is it? That's your informant. Who is it that is informing your ethnography study? So if you're doing an ethnography of teenage girls, you're not going to be talking to all the teenage girls in the world. You're finding a representative of the group or a small group that represent the group. And then you need to interview those. So you've identified who it is that you're going to be observing and now you're going to actually interview them. You have to have some actual evidence, not just stuff in your head. Notes, interviews, pictures, slides, all that data and information, you have to capture it. When you're interviewing someone, you want to ask descriptive questions. This means instead of just letting them ramble on about whatever, you're going to give them directives to get the information that you need. Things are like big picture, you know, describe the overall environment, describe specific tasks, so at a smaller level, to ask them to give you an example. Uh, you want to give them questions that will prompt the right kinds of information that you need back. When looking at the data, you want to code the data, look for categories, uh, themes, different symbols, things that are important to that group and identify them and understand how they mean it in their context. Domain analysis is covering terms. What are the terms that you're going to be using in your writing that come out of your study? Now that you've identified the terms, you want to go back and talk to the informants and ask structural questions. You're confirming your terms and giving specific questions to draw more information out about those terms. A taxonomic analysis is an in-depth study of the domain and the terms associated with it. Now that you've come up with some terms through your analysis, you want to go back and interview to see if those are the terms that jive with your uh, people you're observing. So you want to ask them contrasting questions so that you can see if the differences between some of the terms and the subsets of the terms. And to get them to rate whether or not they think the terms are good or bad. In making the componential analysis, we're looking for the essential components within the domain and identify similarities and connections and relationships amongst the components and the terms. Themes are inferred from the domain. This means we'll look for the themes that come out of the information that you've gathered. And now you can actually write your ethnography.